Hi, and welcome back. So today what we're going to do is there's a new feature in the Tesla app that allows you to connect your Tesla wall connector or your charger to the app. And it, it'll do charge history. You can put restrictions. You can add users, all kinds of cool features for your wall connector. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through all the steps of how to download you know, the uh, uh, setup, how to connect to your wall connector, get it all going, get the app in, and then I'm going to show you the app and show you some of the things that you can do within the app. Um, but bef before I do, I want to let you know that it is important to know you should not be connected to your wall connector's Wi-Fi when you first start this process. During the process, you'll see in the video, it will connect. You'll enter in the info and then it will connect you to the wall connector. But you want to start out with your phone on the internet. So here we go. To add the wall connector, you press your image at the top. Then you're going to go to Add Remove Products to Wall Connector. You're going to hit Get Started. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to manually enter my SSID and my password of my wall connector. Okay, so at this point, you enter in your address using the drop downs. You put in your country, your street address, you'll have to put in your town, and you'll put in your state, and then, uh, then you'll proceed, which is what I'm going to do right now. Okay, at this point, you press and hold the button for five seconds to turn the Wi Fi network of the wall connector on. It's worth noting if this doesn't work for you, which it didn't for me, uh, you can just turn your breaker off and then turn it back on and that will activate the Wi-Fi for five minutes and then you can go on to the next step. Okay, so at this point it wants to connect back to the wall charger and then it connects and now it's uploading the firmware on the device. So the firmware in the wall charger is getting updated to support these features in the app right now. And now it's restarting the wall connector and then we'll have to reconnect back to it after it restarts um, so that we can complete the, uh, complete the setup. So right now the wall connector is restarting. You keep an eye on it, you'll see the flashing lights, and then we, we reconnect to it. Okay, so now it's rebooted and we're connecting, and now it's completing the setup. Uh, it tells you it could take about two minutes. So it's just finishing, doing all the completions, you know, making sure the setup worked correctly and uh, getting the wall connector so that it will support this feature, which I'm going to show you in the app right after we finish this, uh, this setup portion. So that's what we're going to do next. So now at this point, we're still connected, but it's telling me we, it's telling me we need internet. So I had to connect back to my home Wi-Fi to get internet to complete this process. Okay, so at this point, it was finishing the setup now that I'm back on the internet. This only took a few more seconds, and then uh, we got to the, the completion. Okay, and setup is complete. We're all done. So that was all that was involved. Now I want to just show you the app itself and some of the features within the app. Okay, so I'm going to show you in the app. We're in the app, and I'm going to go to, you just swipe, and here is my connected Tesla wall connector. Now you can see the animation that it's charging and that's actually my uh, my color of my Tesla is blue which is cool but you can see the animation of the electricity going down the wire it tells you the watts and kilowatts that it's currently using and you have several options here okay one is you can look at charge history now clearly I don't have any because I haven't used this but it would show all my charge history and then if you hit the download button it will download a comma a CSV of the last year's charging history because I hit it earlier. And then support is just you got a manual for the connector and then you can just browse or you can get help. And then your settings. Here's the interesting thing. So you can select your Wi-Fi or change your Wi-Fi. When you go to vehicle charging, you can do schedule. And if you turn it on, you can allow charging at a certain time. And so you can use the wall connector to determine when charging is permitted. This is useful because you're going to allow other people or you can allow other people to use your charger. So this is useful uh, if you do. 
Another thing, that's this is where you would let other people by managing access. So if you wanted to do this, you would hit add a user and you could create an invitation and it would send an invite to someone else who has the Tesla app and then they would be able to come and using their app, they would be able to use your charger based on invitation and no one else would be able to. And my home info is your address. I'm not going to click that. Has your address and just the specifics about you know, your uh, wall connector. So it's really cool. I like that you can manage access. This is neat because if you have someone that you want to say, hey, you can charge and, you know, if you charge after hours or whatever, you can let them use it. Or if you're on vacation or whatever, you can let someone use it. Um, you can manage your Wi-Fi network. Again, you can skip, you can use this to determine when the charger will al be allowed to be active rather than using a Tesla to schedule it because that way if someone else comes and plugs in, they won't be able to charge on your charger if it's outside the, the time frame that you that you set. So it's actually also like a security thing. If you're only home after work, although weekends, this, this doesn't say days. It would be nice if you could do days and weekends. But the point is, if you say when you're only going to be home, no one can come and charge when you're not there. So that's it. It's a really great uh, addition to the Tesla app. I love it. Uh, and it's fantastic. I hope you like the video. One thing I would like to just say is that uh, the other option rather than where I did manual and I entered in the SSID and the password of the wall connector is you can scan the QR code if you have the quick start guide. I don't have the paperwork anymore. I've had this charger now for two years, so I no longer have it. Uh, it would probably be easier, I would imagine, if you did. Uh, but But I wanted to show that you can just do this anyway, which I did. And it worked great, and the features are really, really nice. So thanks again for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please consider clicking that subscribe button. Like, share, comment. Let me know what you think of this. And we'll see you next time.